Barbie PC is literally the coolest thing I've ever made. I custom painted this case and then I even created this custom glass decal modeled after the official Barbie packaging. So here is the Barbie packaging and then for reference, the design that I made. Let's get into it. A whoop jump scare. This is what I look like for my normal every day. I have no idea who that girl from the intro is. But anyways, here I am tearing apart the Thermal Take Tower 200 case that I'm using today. It's actually super easy to take apart, which is great for painting. I'm using the Rust-Oleum Pink Satin Spray Paint today. I did not buy a primer because this is a two-in-one, but I always recommend sanding and priming. My tape job was a little bit messy, but I think everything turned out pretty good. Here are the rest of the components that I'm using for the build. For the CPU, I'm using the Intel 13600K with the MSI B760i Edge Wi-Fi motherboard, which is a mini ITX motherboard. It's so teeny tiny. And then Thermaltake sent over 32 gigabytes of their Tough RAM DDR5 RGB RAM. I actually really like how they color the plastic blue so you can't miss it. And it's kind of nice to be able to hold that so you don't get your like grubby little fingers all over the RAM. I know that chromey metal part does stain if your hands are greasy, so that's why I like the plastic. Flipping the board over, there's actually an SSD slot on the back, which I am using. And today I'm using the Kraken Z63 cooler. This is a 280 millimeter cooler from NZXT that has a LCD display. So right now I'm just screwing on the bracket that will hold the cooler onto the CPU. With the Tower 200, everything is kind of rotated clockwise 90 degrees. So all of the ports and stuff will be at the top. I'm using the Thermaltake Swafan EXs, the ones with the swappable fan blades. So here I am just swapping them to intake air. I love the concept of these magnetic fans, but the magnets are kind of finicky. Like if you screw in the fans too tight, they lose their connection sometimes. But the convenience of not managing so many cables does come in handy, especially with a mini ITX case. I ended up having to remove this top fan to fit in the AIO, but I just ended up reinstalling it on top of that top bracket. This case actually does support either a 240 or 280 millimeter radiator on that side. And since this is the Kraken Z63, there are still two cables. Some of the new Kraken coolers only have one cable, which is super nice, but this is one of the old ones. I'm just routing all of the cables out the back and then cleaning off the CPU with alcohol. I squeezed way too much thermal paste here by accident, but it is what it is. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is my favorite part. The Galax 4070 GPU in pink is now available in the US. This is like the prettiest graphics card ever. I'm literally in love with it and it needs to go in every single PC build that I do from today on. Thermal takes sent over a full size 850 watt power supply. The nice thing about this case is it actually does fit full size power supplies. And then I ordered these pink cable extensions from Amazon, although in the picture they looked way more pastel when in reality they're like literally neon. I really like that the Galax 4070 still uses the 8-pin PSU connector versus the new 16-pin so you don't have to worry about buying extra cable extensions. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I was not a huge fan of the Thermaltake Tower series of cases until I built with this one. I still feel like the shape reminds me of a claw machine, but it has so many features that make building so convenient. Like these cable management clips. I've never seen these in a chassis before, but I love them so much. All you do is unclip it, stuff the cables in, and then just pop it back in. I love these so much more than using zip ties or Velcro. All of the side panels and dust filters were also super easy to remove. Most of them don't even require any tools and that just makes modding and painting the case so much easier. One interesting thing about this case is that all of your motherboard and GPU ports are gonna be at the top instead of at the back like a traditional case. There are two cutouts in the top panel so you can still easily manage your cables. Now it's finally time to install the vinyl. I actually created this design in Photoshop just based off of the toy box design from the movie. But y'all, I've never applied vinyl before and this thing cost me $94. I really wanted to learn how to do it myself, but maybe it was a mistake. I feel like you can see the exact moment where I realized I screwed up and I started regretting all of my life decisions. It took a long time, but I finally figured it out. I can't wait for the reveal. But first, of course, we have to put Barbie into her new toy box. I don't know if I'm gonna leave her in there because I honestly feel like her hair might get caught in the fans. But I feel like having her in there does complete the look of the Barbie dream PC. Huge shout out to Galax and Thermaltake for providing some of the parts for this build. And also thank you so much Xbox for sending me the actual Barbie doll that I used for this build along with some Barbie themed Xbox controllers. But yeah, this is definitely the silliest build concept I've ever had. I'm really excited about it personally. I would love to know what you guys think down below in the comments. Or if you guys have your own silly or themed designs, I would love to hear them and maybe I can try one of them out for my next build. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you loved this build as much as I did and be sure to subscribe for more aesthetic PC builds.